DGD. Um, really, all you want is a little bit for your little guy. You figured and you can get some more. But, um, like what I have right here, it's probably plenty. Let's put it in the dish. You put double the water of how much food you put in there. So two to one ratio. And you just mix it up. You want it kind of thick but kind of runny. See what I got there is a little too runny. It's kind of like water. So you'll want a little bit more CG. And just kind of even it out. It's got to be like a milkshake consistency. Like right now I have it perfect. And now I can go and feed this to the gecko. You want to put your food near the bottom so it's easier for them to find. Put it wide open like they have great noses they'll be able to smell it. But make it really obvious for them. Once they get used to their spot where the food is they'll know perfectly where to go every time. And you can add more decoration if you think it's too plain. I kind of like my setup really plain like that. There's enough hiding for the little guy. They're perfectly fine. But yeah, so we did food, handling, cage setup. And there's really not that much to it. Um, you want a humidity of like 60 to like 80. Uh, mine right now is 60. Um, heat. Uh, 75 Fahrenheit to about 80. I wouldn't say any hotter than 80. It could go a little lower than 75, but in between there is really good. Um, try not to overhandle them. And for cage size, for an adult crusty, recommend a 12 by 12 by 18. Um, when their babies are really small, they can go in a 12 by 12 like this for a bit and then I'll put them in the bigger tank it's uh, misting you want to mist once in the morning once at night just give it a nice soak if you have a hygrometer in the back you want to try and keep it in between uh, like 60 and 80 and really they're easy pets they're pretty simple to take care of like nothing special um, try and make the food every couple days because it will like turn into like a hardened pancake kind of thing but it's really hard to get off so you have to soak it in warm water for a bit um, really if they're active not during the day and they're active at night that's fine and you can see this guy's drinking water off of his leaves right now yeah that's how they get their water so I mean I wouldn't recommend this as a complete care video still do research make sure you have a bunch of research into your belt before you get the get-go and talk to your reader most important thing if you don't know who you're getting it from or where it came from or where it was before ask questions don't be afraid even after I go back to the same breeder every time after 13 geckos or whatever it is 12 or I don't even know I still ask questions they are good people if they're not then they're probably not the right breeder for you yeah so uh, enjoy your crusty gecko guys uh, peace out rate comment subscribe